Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to use Recycle View in Android Java. We are going to retrieve data from Firebase Firestore. In this video, I have already created a database in Firebase. And to save time, I have already added some dummy data of name and phone number in it. If you want to know how to create a database in Firebase or how to connect Firebase with Android Studio, you can refer my previous videos. I will add all the links in description. Let's bind this contacts data in a recycler view. For that open Android Studio. Then open activity file in which you want to add recycler view. Currently I am implementing it in main activity. I am removing the default code snippet. Instead of directly adding the recycle view, I will first enhance the UI by adding some text. For the heading, I will create a text view and set its text to contacts. Also, I will add one more text view to make it better. Now let's add Recycler view, and for those who don't know what Recycler view is. So basically, Recycle view is a flexible and efficient version of list view. It is used to display a large set of data in a scrollable list. Unlike list view, recycle view is designed to be more powerful and versatile. With built-in support for view recycling and layout management. Also make sure you give an ID to it. Then go to the rest folder in your project, then to the layout directory. Right click on the layout directory, select new, greater than layout resource file, and name it item.xml. We have created this layout file for individual items in our recycle view. Now, let's design our items file. We'll keep it simple for this example, we start with the card view as the root element. Inside the card view, we use a constraint layout to position our views more flexibly. Then set the background color of the card. Inside the constraint layout, create two text view which would be name and phone number. On these text views we are going to bind all the names and phone numbers, which are stored in the database. Also add a image view and add a delete icon image in it. This image view acts as a delete button, however we are not going to code deleting functionality in this video. But in next video, I'll show you how to delete records from recycler view. Let's create a java file named contacts, java. This class is specifically designed to handle and encapsulate contact information within our application. Inside contacts.java file, we have fields for name and phone number, along with constructors that allow us to initialize these values effortlessly. Additionally, we've implemented getter and setter methods. These methods ensure that our data is accessed and modified in a controlled and structured manner. This integration will allow us to dynamically populate our list with contact details.
Now that we have our contacts, Java model class set up to handle contact data, let's proceed by creating the adapter class. This adapter will bridge our model data with the recycle view, allowing us to display and manage our contact list efficiently. Let's begin by defining our contacts adapter.java class, which will extend recycle view.adapter. Hover over the error or click on the red bulb icon, where you will get implement methods option, click on it and select all the methods. Again do the same to implement view holder class, contact view holder, that will hold references to the views for each item in the recycle view. Inside the contact view holder, we'll declare variables for each view element in our item layout. These views include text view for the contact name and phone number. The constructor of contact view holder takes a view as a parameter. This view represents an item in our recycle view. Inside the constructor, we initialize the view variables using find view by id to link them with their corresponding elements in the item layout, items.xml. We'll need a constructor to initialize our adapter with a list of contacts. Inside this method, we use the layout inflator to inflate our item layout XML file, items.xml. The layout inflator converts the XML layout into corresponding view objects. After inflating the layout, we create an instance of contact view holder, passing the inflated view to its constructor. This binds the view elements to the view holder. The onBind view holder method is responsible for binding data to the views in the view holder. This method is called by the recycle view to display the data at the specified position. Lastly, we'll implement the getItemCount method to return the size of our contacts list. Finally, let's integrate everything into our main activity.java. We'll initialize the recycle view, set up the adapter, and fetch data from Firestore, then declare the recycler view in a variable. Initialize it in the onCreate method, then set the recycler view as linear layout manager. Basically, linear layout manager are used for displaying a list of items in a vertically scrolling list. Then let's declare rest of the variables which would be contacts adapter which would be used to bind the contacts data to the recycle view then contacts list that holds the contact data and db to instance firestore database. Inside on create method, initialize the list that will hold the contacts. Then initialize the adapter with the contact list and the context. After that set the adapter to the recycle view, linking the data to the view. Then initialize the Firestore database instance. Then outside on create method, create a fetch contacts method. This method will be used to fetch contacts from the Firestore database. Inside collection add the collection name you have passed in Firebase Firestore database. Add a listener for changes in the contacts collection. This method listens for real-time updates. Checks for errors and exits if any are found. Then clear the current list to prepare for new data. Then iterate over each document in the collection. After that convert each document snapshot to a contacts object. Then add each contacts object to the list. After that notify the adapter that the data has changed, prompting the recycle view to update. Then call the method to fetch contacts from Firestore inside on create method. We are done coding main activity. Now open Android manifest file. Inside that we need to add internet permission. Let's run our app to see it in action. That's it for today's tutorial. We learned how to integrate Firebase Firestore with a recycle view in Android. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon for notifications. That's it for today's tutorial. We learned how to integrate Firebase Firestore with a recycle view in Android. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon for notifications.